too much red blood cells, also known as polycythemia. We actually measure it based off of the hemoglobin. So why is that a problem? What causes it or what are some of the, the two most common causes that I can go over in a two minute video? So here's the challenge of it. Look, men, and some women, I guess. If you're on testosterone, you run the risk of increasing your red blood cell mass, and we measure it with the hemoglobin. So you're like, well, what's the big deal? You know, the, you know, the, those bikers, they do that to themselves when they go train over in Colorado at high altitude. They want to increase their hemoglobin for performance issues. The issue is, is that if it's too thick, once the hemoglobin, let's say, starts getting 19, 20, 21 for a guy, and you're in this hot summer here in Texas, your blood starts to cause some sludging in the arterioles and so that can cause a stroke and a heart attack. And if it's chronically high from testosterone, it makes it harder on your heart to pump, right? You just think about it, it's thicker. It's like, instead of it being smooth like water, it's like a very thick oil. And so that's the challenge or one of the side effects of exogenous testosterone. So be careful because you're not being monitored and you're somehow getting um, to medical grade testosterone you're just injecting without being monitored properly, you run that risk of having heart attack and stroke and some of the other complications of testosterone is, you know, your, your cholesterol panel could go up. And so those are one of the things to look out for because that's why if you're gonna be on testosterone, you should get monitored at least every 90 days to have that hemoglobin check. I like to do it every 90 days. And then how do I resolve it for my patients acutely? Well, they're gonna go donate blood, right? You go donate blood, you, get, you let the vampires get you, or you can have the vampires get you too, you know, if you believe in vampires. So no, we go, you, we got, we caught phlebotomy. And so that's how you can treat it. I'll see you at the next video. Tubby Doc out.